107 facts about the 107 Sinnoh Pokemon. Oh, and by the way, I heard it was impossible to click the subscribe button with your nose. So if you want to prove that myth wrong, go ahead and try it out. It's free and helps out the channel a ton. And so with that said, here we go. Turtwig. With the exception of Team Rocket, Ash's Turtwig was the only stage of his evolution line that actually won a battle. Because after it evolved into Grodel, it never won a battle again. Grodel. As shown in the Pokemon anime, Grodel can grow berries and acorns on his back. However though, it doesn't learn the harvest ability, which is kind of a bummer. Torterra. In Detective Pikachu, Torterra lives up to his name as the Continent Pokemon, because as you can see, Tim and Pikachu find themselves on top of this gigantic Torterra when they were running away from the attacking Greninjas. Chimchar. Chimchar is quite literally one of two fire types that the player can obtain before the postgame of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, with the other fire type being Ponyta. Monferno. The reason why Monferno gains the fighting typing upon evolution is because it's based on Monkey Kung Fu, which is a martial arts style where the fighter uses monkey-like movements. Infernape. In the Pokemon anime, Flint's Infernape has a continuity error, because in the episode Flint Sparks the Fire, Flint's Chimchar is seen unevolved while Flint is still an adult. But in the episode Four Rose Diversion of Pokemon Port, his Chimchar is shown evolved while Flint is still a child. Piplup. In the Pokemon anime, Dawn's Piplup became the second Pokemon to ever stop itself from evolving, with the first one being Ash's Bulbasaur. Primplup. Every Primplup apparently thinks that it's the protagonist in some kind of movie, because according to his Pokedex entry, it states that every one of them believes that it's the most important. Empoleon. Spoilers ahead, in the Pokemon movie I Choose You, Ash's new traveling companion Verity is revealed to be Cynthia's daughter, and at the end of the movie we see a picture of Cynthia with an Empoleon and Verity's Piplup, revealing that Cynthia chose Piplup as her starter for her adventure. Starly. The world record for beating Pokemon Platinum with only the Starly line is 3 hours 47 minutes and 59 seconds set by speedrunner Worcester, which is just 9 minutes off the regular world record speedrun for that game. Staravia. Berry Staravia in Pokemon Platinum is insanely annoying, because all it does is spam Double Team and Endeavor. Staraptor. Out of all of Ash's bird Pokemon, Staraptor took the longest to evolve with a whopping 116 episodes. Bidoof. There was recently a Pokemon Day called Bidoof Day, where they released a Rick Roll parody on the official Pokemon YouTube channel. By Barrel. By Barrel in Pokemon Diamond or Pearl is probably the greatest HM Mule of any Pokemon game. Cricketot. Interestingly enough, Cricketot has a 5% chance of holding a metronome upon capturing, which might be a reference to the fact that it's based on a cricket that conducts an orchestra. Cricketoo. Cricketoo's cry is amazing, and this is my impression of it. Whoop, up, 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 whoop! Shinx. Shinx has a strong resemblance to the hoax Pokemon Kurochu, which was a fake Pokemon made for an April Fool's joke back in 2005. Luxio. Luxio's Chinese name is very long, and it's pronounced Lei K Mao, which directly translates to Luck Cat. Luxray. Luxray is one of very few Pokemon that has been shown on screen passing away. In this instance, it was during the Pokemon I Choose You movie in a flashback. Badoo. In Pokemon Sword and Shield, there is a hotel called the Badoo Drop Inn, and its biggest feature is that it has a statue of a young hero who single handedly took down Eternatus during the darkest day. Roserade. Roserade is one of two Pokemon that's a third stage evolution that can be fully evolved at level 1, with the other Pokemon being Porygon Z. Cranidos. Roar's Cranidos is probably the strongest first gen Pokemon of all Pokemon games, since it has the highest attack set of all unevolved Pokemon. Rampardos. Rampardos has the highest base attack set of all non legendary and non mega Pokemon, with its attack being 165. Shieldon. In the anime episode Ill Will Hunting, there are a group of four Shieldons just hanging out. And this is weird because, according to his Pokedex entry, these Pokemon have been extinct for 100 million years, which is a very, very long time. Bastiodon. According to Bastiodon's Pokedex entry, it states that the fossils of Bastiodon and his counterpart Rampardos have been found together, assuming that they fought to the finish, which might be a reference to an immovable object meeting an unstoppable force. Burmy. This is what Burmy looks like without its disguise. Wormadam. The Trash Cloak Wormadam is probably one of the most obscure Pokemon, because not only does the player need to evolve a female Burmy, but they also need to be inside a building to have the Trash Cloak disguise. Motham. Motham has some of the most uninspired Pokedex entries of all Pokemon. All it really talks about is that it loves to steal honey from Combi, and that's that's basically it. Combi. In Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, a female shiny Combi is probably one of the most rarest Pokemon of all time. Because not only does it have a very small chance of being a female, but it also only spawns in honey trees, which can only be used once a day. Vespaquin. If you search Google with the term Vespaquin weakness, it will show that it's weak to ice, fire, electric, flying, and an onyx. 
Pachirisu. Pachirisu was used in the 2014 Pokemon World Championships by Seijon Park, and was actually essential to Seijon winning the tournament. Buizel. As seen in the anime episode Mounting a Coordinator Assault, Buizel is seen using his tail to fly, so basically his tail is from Sonic. Float Cell. The yellow tube that goes around Float Cell's shoulders is his flotation device. As this Float Cell is based on a lifeguard, I wouldn't be surprised if this thing is detachable. Cherubi. According to his Pokedex entry, Cherubi evolves by eating his own smaller head. And it is also said that it's not only filled with nutrients, but it's also very tasty. So basically, Cherubi is a cannibal with itself, and it enjoys it. Cherum. In Cherum's overcast form, its eyes are moved to the bottom of where his feet are. And you can see this in the anime episode, Battling the Generation Gap. Shellos. Shellos and his evolution, Gastrodon, were originally planned for Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, but were ultimately cut due to time constraints. Gastrodon. Despite Gastrodon looking very different, its Pokedex entry states that it's a relative of Shelter and Cloyster. Amipom. According to Amipom's Pokedex entry, it states that it gets in terrible disputes with groups of Pajamon. But this doesn't really make sense because Pajamon can only be found on the Akala Island, while Amipom can only be found on the Pony Island, which are two islands that are very, very far away from each other. Drifloon. In Pokemon Sun and Moon, if you talk to the Drifloon in the Thirsty Mega Mart, it will give you lemonade as a thanks from saving it from back on Route 6. Driftblim. When a Driftblim passes away, it is said that all the gas that are released from his body are actually souls of children that it ate. Bunnery. Bunnery is the only Pokemon with zero friendship, basically meaning that it literally hates you. Lapunny. Lapunny is most likely based on the Play Bunny, or other bunnies as seen in popular culture, which probably explains why his shiny form is pink as well. Miss Magius. In the anime, Miss Magius transformed into a Rayquaza to prevent Ash and his friends from escaping a dream and possess them in. Honchcrow. Honchcrow is essentially a Mafia leader, because for one, it's known as the Big Boss Pokemon, and for two, according to multiple Pokedex entries, it commands its Murkrow cronies to bring it food. And if one fails to deliver, Honchcrow will hunt them down and punish them. Glammeow. At one point, it was almost impossible hitting an excellent throw on a Glammeow in Pokemon Go. Its hitbox was pretty broken before it was fixed. Per Ugly. Per Ugly has a higher speed stat than Latios and Latios, two legendary Pokemon that are supposed to be as fast as jet planes. Chingling. As seen in Pokemon Go, Chingling is completely hollow, which might be a hint to it being a Kami, a spirit that inhabits a non-living thing, which also might explain why it learns Astonish early on. Stunky. Stunky has a surprisingly awesome looking shiny, and also has got butt cheeks for his face. Skuntank. Skuntank learns Flamethrower after evolving from Stunky, and as you would probably guess, its fire comes from his behind. Bronzor. The reason why Bronzor has the ability Heat Proof is because it's based on a mirror that went to melt from an old Japanese folktale. Bronzong. Bronzong is listed under the green group in the Pokédex, and this is either referencing his shiny form or his beta design where it was originally more green than blue. Bonsly. Bonsly has a butthole. Mime Jr. In Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, if the player has a Mime Jr. as their partner and is in the copycatch room, the Mime Jr. will mimic the player when interacted with. Happiny. In the anime, Brox's Happiny is quite literally stronger than a Machamp, because in the episode by Barrel Nas Best, you can see Brox Happiny carrying 5 boulders while Machamp is only holding 3. Chatot. Chatot's signature move Chatter can play a recorded sound with the Nintendo DS's mic, and with this, you can have Chatot make some pretty funny noises. Spiritomb. Spiritomb's stat spread looks like a tombstone in the stat diagram, which is probably a reference to the fact that 108 evil spirits were still away creating this Pokemon. Gibble. The shiny Gibble that Benga gives you in Pokemon Black is one of four canonically shiny Pokemon, with the others being the Red Gyarados, the shiny Dratina that Benga also gives you, and the Haxorus in the Nature Preserve. Gabite. In the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon anime special, it is stated that Gabite's skills can be used as a cure for sickness. Garchomp. Garchomp and his pre-evolutions look completely different in the early stages of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. It almost looks like these Pokemon were planned to be fire types or even more true to their ground typing. Munchlax. Munchlax is second when it comes to the longest time a Pokemon has been revealed before the release of their Pokemon game, with Ho-Oh having the record for the longest with a whopping 2 years and 7 months, which beats Munchlax by only a month. Rylou. In the movie Lucario and the Mystery of Mew, Ash is told that he has an insanely strong aura, which is probably the reason why Rylou chose Ash as his trainer in Pokemon Journeys. Lucario. In Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Lucario is known as the greatest rescuer of all time, and there's even a rank that the player can achieve known as the Lucario rank, which is the highest honor a rescuer can obtain. Hippopotas. Funnily enough, a random wild Hippopotas played a crucial role for saving the entire world. The mod helped Ash and his friends restore the prison bottle in the movie Hoopa and the Clash of Ages. 
Hippowden. Hippowden have a symbiotic relationship with Dwebble. Because when stones get stuck in the ports of their bodies, Dwebble help to slosh those stones. And in return, the Hippowden protect and look after these Dwebble. Scorpy. Scorpy is the only bug type Pokemon that loses its bug typing upon evolution. Which is pretty weird because I understand Onus losing his rock typing when it evolves into Steelix, but losing the fact that you're a bug? It's just strange. Drapion. The reason why Drapion and his pre-evolution Scorpy are in the Water 3 egg group is because the Water 3 egg group is a reference to ancient arthropods that used to inhabit the oceans. Krogunk. Krogunk is the mascot of Pastoria City. And there's even a random sub-event where a Krogunk will walk inside the Great Marsh building if the player stands behind the Krogunk cutout. Toxicroak. Technically, in the anime episode Intergalactic, a group of four shiny Toxicroaks debuted. But in reality, it was just an air with their coloring. Carnivine. Even though Carnivine is based on a Venus flytrap and is known as the bug catcher Pokemon, it is inexplicably weak to bug type Pokemon. And on top of that, it can't even hit a bug type Pokemon with a super effective move. Finneon. In the new Pokemon Snap, you can actually witness a Finneon being eaten alive by a wild wingle. Luminion. According to his Pokedex entry, Luminion preys on his favorite food, Starmie. But this is strange because Starmie is a stronger Pokemon with a higher base stat total. Mantike. Mantike only has one English Pokemon card, and this is it. Snover. Snover grows Snover berries on their body during the spring. And in the anime episode, The Lonely Snover, you can see this in action. Obama Snow. According to his Pokedex entry, Obama Snow are able to whip up a blizzard by shaking their bodies. And in the new Pokemon Snap, you can see this in action when a Crabominable wakes one of them up. Weavile. According to multiple Pokedex entries, Weavile have their own complex language. And also in Pokemon Snap, you can see Weavile carving their patterns on trees to communicate among each other. Magnezone. According to his Pokedex entry, a group of scientists tried figuring out a way to force a Magnezone to evolve even further. But unfortunately, their efforts ended up in a failure. And this is probably the only reference we see in Pokemon that talks about a Pokemon evolving for a third time. Lickia Licky. Besides Silvalli, Lickia Licky is the only Pokemon that gets stabbed with a move Explosion, making it a pretty deadly Pokemon. Rhyperior. According to his Pokedex entry, Rhyperior sometimes shoot Geodudes and Rock and Rollas from the holes in its arms. Also, it has a Batman belt. Tangrowth. In Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, Tangrowth was unobtainable. The only method of obtaining one was transferring a Tangela through Pal Park and evolving it. Electivire. According to his Pokedex entry, a single Electivire can provide enough electricity for all the buildings in a big city for an entire year. Magmortar. There was a Magmortar card censored in the United States, since the Japanese version looked like it was pointing a firearm at the viewer. Tokakiss. A recent 4chan leak revealed the beta version of Tokakiss, and this is what it looks like. Yadmega. According to his Pokedex entry, Yadmega is capable of transporting an adult in flight, yet it is unable to learn the HM fly. Even in the anime, it's seen transporting Jesse in the air, so not being able to learn fly just doesn't make any sense. Leafeon. Even though Leafeon is practically made of leaves, it has the highest base defense stat of all evolutions. And what's even funnier is that it has the same defense stat as Pokemon like Rapierior and Metagross. Glaceon. Glaceon is probably the worst Eevee evolution for competitive battling. Its move pull is pretty lackluster, and its defenses are pretty weak. Not to mention that it lost its hidden power attack of Sword and Shield, which it heavily relied on. Gliscor. Weirdly enough, Gliscor weighs less than its pre-evolution Gligar, even though it's twice as big. Mamoswine. Mamoswine can breed with a Rattata. Porygon Z. This is what Porygon Z sounds like in Poke Park. Eh, eh, eh. Gallade. Glade is one of the best Pokemon to use for capturing Pokemon. It is able to learn Fall Swipe, Hypnosis, and even Sunny Day to negate possible hail damage. Probopass. Probopass controls three mini noses that are able to detach from it and attack enemies or hunt for food. Dustnor. Dustnor is basically the Grim Reaper of Pokemon, because its Pokedex entry states that it guides lost spirits to the afterlife. Frostlass. Frostlass probably has one of the most disturbing Pokedex entries of all Pokemon, because it states when it finds humans or Pokemon it likes, it freezes them and takes them to its chilly den, where they become decorations. Rotom. In the anime, Ash's Rotom phone has a funny rivalry with his Rotom Pokedex, stating that it's superior since it has more functionalities. Uxi. Not including Arceus, Uxi is probably the smartest Pokemon in the entire Pokemon universe, since it is known as the Being of Knowledge, and its Pokedex entry states that it is the origin of all knowledge. Mesprit. I could be wrong, but apparently Mesprit and his counterparts are the rarest incompatible Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Azelf. Azelf and his counterparts probably have the best legendary music out of all legendary Pokemon. They do hit different though. 
Dialga. Dialga is a form where it loses the ability to manipulate time, and is known as Primal Dialga. And when it's in this form, it goes berserk and loses the capability of logical reasoning or even showing mercy to those around it. Polkia. In the anime, Polkia essentially has the same cry as Boga from Star Wars and even Mecha King Ghidorah from Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. And this is what it sounds like. Heatran. The first time it became possible to obtain a Heatran with this hidden ability was in Pokemon Sword and Shield with the ability patch. Regigigas. Regigigas has the best cry in the Pokemon anime, hands down. And this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Garatina. A level 1 Garatina is actually possible, because after the Arceus event in Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, the player is given the choice to receive a free Polkia, Dialga, or a Garatina that's level 1. Cresselia. Cresselia is based on the constellation Cygnus, which is a star alignment that resembles a swan. So if there's ever going to be a cosmic type Pokemon, Cresselia would probably be the best match. Fion. Fion has only appeared in the anime once, which was in the Hold the Fion episode, which is pretty amazing given the fact that it's supposedly a mythical Pokemon, and the fact that it wasn't even shown in the Manaphy movie, Pokemon Ranger in the Temple of the Sea. Manaphy. In Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Manaphy probably has the coolest ability out of all Pokeball Pokemon. It uses the move Heart Swap and swaps the player's bodies to where they have to fight as the opposing character. Darkrai. Even though it's not shown in the games, Darkrai actually has legs, and they're also extendable, which makes Darkrai look a lot more daunting. Shaman. The Pokemon card Shaman EX was so strong that it was banned from the expanded format, and what made this card insanely broken was the setup ability, which essentially gave it endless card draw. And finally, Arceus. This weird looking Pokemon sprite was used as a placeholder for Arceus during the development of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, and even though it's not technically a beta design, it still looks pretty dang awesome. And there you go, 107 facts about the 107 Sinnoh Pokemon. And if you want to help out with the next video in the series, leave a comment down below about one of the 156 Unova Pokemon. The more obscure the fact is, the better. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to support me on Patreon, click on the button right here. I spend days, if not weeks, on these videos, and the YouTube algorithms really favor that, so it helps me out a ton. You get to talk to me and also see sneak peeks of future videos, so there's a lot of cool things that come with being a Patreon. And also, if you want to binge watch my videos, be sure to click on the end card right now and start binging. And yeah, that's all for this video, and I'll see y'all next time. See ya.